Today on Horns and Hooks TV, we're going sturgeon fishing. We got Wayne from North Fork Customs and Captain Kelly and his son Hudson. Then we're going from winter to summer and we'll be headed out on the Columbia River with the Wounded Warriors, Operation Salmon and 37 professional guide boats. Stay tuned, it's going to be a lot of fun. To complement our 5 to 20 power scope, Huskama Optics is proud to introduce its new smaller and lightweight 3 to 12 power scope. From varmint hunting and lightweight backpacking to heavier calibers for the deadliest game, this scope is built for an even wider variety of applications. With all the high quality lens coating and durability you've come to expect from a Huskama scope topped with turrets customized to fit your ballistic profile. The new 3 to 12 from Huskama Optics, the only patented windage enabled yardage turrets on the market. It doesn't matter what sort of adventure you're after. Whether it's big game deep in the backcountry, a day of fishing out on the water, or an overnight in the great outdoors. At Sportsman's Warehouse, we've got the gear in here for what you need out there. Gear up for your adventure at one of over 45 locations. Or shop online. Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. all seeking adventure and there's no better place to find it than Grays Harbor County from our South Beach to our North Coast and the Quinault Rainforest Grays Harbor County always changing always unforgettable visit our website or call us for your next getaway Horns and Hooks TV is brought to you by Grays Harbor Tourism. Come visit Grays Harbor, where unforgettable outdoor adventures await. Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Visit a Sportsman's Warehouse near you today. Brought to you in part by Huskama Long Range Optics. If you're not the lead dog, the view never changes. And Horns and Hooks Magazine. Subscribe today at hornsandhooks.com, where outdoor adventures await 24 hours a day. To ball me 21 degrees out. It's frozen, man. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, Diana's really pleased with you too this morning. <laughs> Diana's all mad at it. Oh, really? She sent us ah! a bad note and everything. She, she wrote you chained up last night, wrote you to a letter. It's cold. It's probably the coldest stretch of weather in like two years in Washington, I think, on the west side. We're sturgeon fishing today with Captain Kelly of Seven Gill Outfitters and his main deck and Hudson. And we got Wayne from North Fork Customs along with us. It's kind of our last hurrah for sturgeon in Washington for the next two years. There, uh, there's a moratorium on sturgeon that, that closes at the end of the year. So, so we just got here. It's uh, just what 15, 20 minutes after daylight this morning. The sun's just coming up over the hill. Incoming. The incoming time should be hot. So here hour or two should start getting a few bites. I mean we probably could have caught some fish on the outgoing tide if it got daylight at six instead of seven. Just need that current to spread the smell of the bait so they can find it. So horns and hooks today is all about kids and old guys. 67. <laughs> I don't like being retired. <laughs> we got a love note from Diana today. A lot of time went into this. <laughs> Kelly. I will give you the benefit of the doubt that you got rooked into this by the big guy Rex. <laughs> Rex, you are a very, very bad boy. Bad, bad boy. What? You boys can enjoy your freezing day on the water. I will enjoy a bit of homemade Baileys in my coffee. 
this morning in my nice, warm, 75 degree shop. <laughs> Enjoy your day, Diana. P.S. I made some turkey sandwiches for all you turkeys. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> you got three sentences and I got four paragraphs. <laughs> That's good stuff. Nice and toasty down there. Yeah. Not very clinky. Hmm. They look good. We get fish in this shallow water, especially with mono. I mean, we're only in eight feet of water, so you get casted out there 150 feet. You got a lot of line laying on the bottom. Those fish will come sideways across the set and hit that line. Got him! Fish on! Got it. Come on. Oh. Right back in. Fish off. Fish off. False alarm. If I was a fish, I'd be off the coast of Mexico where it's warm. Diana made me a special sandwich. Make sure she didn't sprinkle any, like, fiberglass dust or anything. Like that. <laughs> Thanks, Diana. Delicious. Got him! Get up there, honey. That's how you set a hook, gentlemen. Catch him, catch him real, real, real. Go lane, and pull you in. Yeah, that's a good fish. What's the biggest one you've ever caught? About 55 inch. 55 inch, huh? Who taught you how to fish? Your mom? No, the captain. Captain? Captain Kelly? Is he a good teacher? Yeah, for fishing, and that's all. That's all? <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, son. <laughs> Remember, you don't have a bar, bud. Seven feet. Seven feet? Uh, wow, you're really horsing in a seven footer. Yeah. <laughs> Catch this oversize. How do you know what's an oversize? I'm just going by what you told me. You yeah. told me it was a six or seven footer. Seven footer is what you said. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven? Mm -hmm. Which one? There's a big difference there. About a hundred pounds worth. I don't know how you let him get so far out with your tip. Look how hard this is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that worked. <laughs> He's back there 50 yards again. Yeah, I'd say he's at least seven foot. <laughs> Good fish. Told ya. <laughs> that seems like a pro at this game. Yeah, he does. He's doing awesome, man. Just working that fish. Man, you think his dad's a fishing captain or something? <laughs> okay, reel down. I've seen a lot of men that are not nearly oh. as good as that fighting a fish that's that right there. Oh my lord! That's a big, big Biggest you ever caught? That kid could battle a fish. Hudson must have fought that fish for at least 45 minutes. He was a trooper, man. Oh I've never seen a nine year old Whoa. handle a big sturgeon like that before. It was pretty impressive. We'll be right back to Cards and Hooks TV. Uh, no? Oh, yeah. The all new broadband limb savers are the most effective limb savers ever created. They install in seconds and come in a variety of custom colors. Also new from Limb Saver is the AWS Modular Stabilizer. Customize and tune your bow by adding or subtracting nodes and adjusting the sliding precision weight. When you need maximum performance, accuracy, and reliability, there's only one choice. Limb Saver. Legendary performance.
North Fork Customs. Quality rods built one at a time. Welcome back to Horns and Hooks TV. Hudson just landed a monster sturgeon. Now we're gonna find out how big that fish really is. <laughs> Biggest fish I've ever caught. Because yeah, when we start going, if I have to let go. Keep hold that thing really good, dude. A big sturgeon like that probably weighs around 200 pounds. This fish probably was two to three times Hudson's weight. Good love. This cool. <laughs> Buddy, he's gone. Back off, Wayne. Back off. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Really bad idea. Hold up the nose, bud. Right there. Oh my god. He's probably seven foot. It's a big, big girth, though. Big girth fish. Huge girth. Huge head. You know how big a place you'd get off that thing? These are what we need. That's what we need. That's how easy the hook comes out. Kiss it! You want to give your fish a kiss? Give it. <laughs> kiss its nose. Ready? Hold on. Yeah. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Tell everybody at home, man. It's fun. <laughs> That's all. But my muscles are sore now. I'll bet you're tired. Good yeah. thing you had a good teacher for a dad. Yeah. I have just... Fort Customs. I mean, these are the shark prototype rods we work with. Using them for sturgeon too. Honey, that was awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah. 32 degrees right now. Awesome. Middle of December. It's cold. Where? I think in my And now we're wet. And we're wet. <laughs> but it's all worth it when you catch a big fish like that. When a nine-year-old kid catches a 200-pound fish, So Hudson was really battling that big fish. He would give it everything he had. His daddy had taught him well. We're not gonna be eating much of that great meat for a few years, but there's still gonna be a healthy sturgeon population hopefully after this, this shutdown. On the Columbia River with the Wounded Warriors, Operation Salmon, and 37 professional guide boats. Today is a pretty special day. We're going fishing with the Operation Salmon. Dion Hess set this thing, whole thing up. There's 37 guide boats filled with warriors that have been wounded, active duty military, retired military. We're here in southwestern Washington, we're really fishing the Columbia for steelhead. It really, it kind of chokes me up a little bit just talking about it. It's a pretty exciting deal here he's got going today. All the veterans and the guides and all the sponsors were extremely excited to get out on the water that day. Meeting all the veterans that morning of the fishing trip and seeing them interact with each other was extremely humbling to me to know what they have been through and what they've put themselves through for our freedoms and our country. And I just am extremely thankful that there's people out there that are willing to risk their lives for our freedoms every day. So we're just here for hooks, right?
Today we're here at our local sportsman's warehouse. We're looking for some inflatable life vest, and Chris is going to help us out today. What if we're out on the ocean, say in a bigger boat, what, what kind of system would you recommend? I would probably go with an automatic or a hit. You're going to be out there riding the waves and fall off your boat, you hit your head, you fall into the water, you're knocked out. The manual's not going to work for you. You want that automatic. It's got the automatic and the manual. One thing that we like to do is we like to kayak. So kayak, inflatable life vest, what do you recommend? I would definitely go with the manual if you're gonna be doing any kind of kayaking or you know you're going to get wet. Definitely go with the manual. People, here we are in the great state of Washington and it rains all the time, you know? <laughs> what, what do we do, fishermen? We're out there fishing anyways. A lot of people are afraid that it gets wet, it will inflate. Most of the time, yes. So that's why we go with the hit. It has the hydrostatic inflatable technology. It's got a little tablet inside here. Once this goes below four feet of water, it automatically inflates, oh, okay. period. So you don't have to worry if it's raining or waves are crashing on you. It will not inflate just from that little bit of water. Right. So if you're heading out in the water, don't forget about safety and come down to your local sports and warehouse and they can show you what you need. And don't wear it underneath of your jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Good tip. <laughs> Thanks. Back. Horns and Hooks TV is brought to you by Grays Harbor Tourism. Come visit Grays Harbor where unforgettable outdoor adventures await. Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Visit a sportsman's warehouse near you today. Brought to you in part by Huskamaw Long Range Optics. If you're not the lead dog, the view never changes. Youth Outdoors Unlimited. Help a disadvantaged youth experience the outdoors by becoming a sponsor member and get a free subscription to Horns and Hooks magazine. For all your boating and personal watercraft needs, visit the great folks at U.S. Marine Sales and Service. Your number one Northwest Yamaha dealer. Come see our selection of power boats, jet skis, outboard engines, and more. With a fully certified service department, courteous staff, and impressive selection of parts and accessories. Family owned and operated for over 20 years. I was lucky enough to interview a couple of great guys that are doing a lot for our nature loving military personnel. So we're with Larry Smith today. Larry is the co-founder of CMAC. It was founded as a community military appreciation committee. So we do it, we're a nonprofit. We uh, rely strictly on businesses who step forward. And I understand most of the money you raise goes to scholarships for fallen children? Yes, uh, we uh, adopted that program this year. And what we want to do is make sure that their kids get an education with the loss of their mom or dad. CMAC11.org. That's it. Okay. Well, thank you so much for having okay, us. Okay, appreciate Great it. Great job. Yeah. It was a wonderful event. Yeah. Just make sure you keep reeling. That's the biggest thing. Other than that, I'll put you through it and we'll be fine. So if we don't stop reeling, got it real. So you did two tours over there on a back dad or what? First one was Missoula. Really? And then you got hurt? Yeah. What happened? The uh, enemy mortar round landed in front of our field striker. Really? You know, standing up out of the squad leader hatch. People always get a laugh when I'm like, yeah, it was the last thing I saw out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> so the shrapnel hit your eye? Yeah. And you lost your eye? Yeah, what was left of it. Would you do it again? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I would have yeah, stared if they would have let me. You can't do stuff like that. Can't do stuff like that. What's up? I think it just hit that rope. So it beat. It's in your rope. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. Okay. Don't leave it below the surface. You're doing really good. Oh, out of boy. Nice work. Nice fish, bro. Fish on. Nice fish, buddy. Congratulations. Yeah, it's just we got lucky. I don't I don't see how we got that big off. Look at that, it did a knot. <laughs> that is luck. <laughs> nah, it doesn't get any better than that. Congratulations, man. So we're here with Dion Hess, he's the manager of a Walmart, and this is all his putting he put this whole thing together. 
Tell us what you got going here. We've got a, a, almost 100 soldiers, sailors, Coast Guard, Air Force, local disabled veterans and veterans in general um, out here fishing today on professional guide boats. We buy seats and the guides give us a, um, a free seat for a soldier, veteran, sailor for every seat we purchase. If you go fishing on a guide boat and you do it this day, you can still go fishing, but you can fish with some of these heroes. There's no better feeling than to be out there fishing with these guys all day and, and catching some fish and watching them catch fish. So, I mean, it's a really great cause. A bunch of great beats, got some great support in the community. I can't say enough about it. Um, we will be doing it again next year. I manage a Walmart here in Vancouver. You can call any Walmart stores there in Vancouver area, and they'll know how to get a hold of me. So anyway, there's several ways to do it. CMAC, Community Military Appreciation Committee, is a sponsor of this here in Vancouver. You can talk to them. At the end of the day, we're all going to meet at CMAC and, and have a barbecue, have a couple hundred people. And if you can't get a hold of Dion, get a hold of us, hornsandhooks.com, and we'll put you in touch. So thank you. No, it's our honor to thank be you. here with these heroes and you. I mean, you put something together that's pretty special, and, and we're just thankful to be a part of it and thankful that you invited us. So we'll be here as many years as we can. All right. Well, thank you. Well, we got fish number two on. Good old James here. He's going to this baby in. Way across yet. It's okay. Yeah, I was able to talk with the founder of an organization that is very important, especially to our active military. We're with Sergeant Eric Bakken, the founder of Fallen Outdoors. Good job, man. This thing sounds like it's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Tell me about it. We're an organization that is soldiers helping soldiers with the outdoors. We connect past and present veterans uh, using the outdoors. We facilitate hunts and we're filming a TV show. So we're just there trying to help each other stay passionate about our our favorite thing to do is hunting and fishing. Yeah, it sounds like a great organization. You got team members in each state, yep. but that's your goal, and all over the world. Yes, sir. All right, buddy, good job. I appreciate it. Well, thank you. How'd we do? Sockeye. Sockeye, huh? <laughs> nice work. Slow day on the river, but it's all for a good cause. Good people. Man. Wish these guys would have caught some more fish. It would have been really nice to send a bunch of fish home with all these guys. Good work, ladies. Thank you. Ladies caught all the fish? Yeah. Of course. All the people caught. All these people came out here to support these troops. It's pretty uh, pretty amazing what Dion's put together here. I just want to say thank you to all the men and women around the country protecting our freedoms and allowing us to be out here fishing today. And especially these guys right here that served overseas. It's pretty touching. It's pretty impressive when you see this much outreach from the community just, yeah. just to say thank you. It was a good day. It was a great day. Yeah, we caught two fish, two nice natives. Both fought hard. Both James and John landed them, which couldn't have been better. Some of them didn't catch much. We had a great day. They had some tremendous prizes at the barbecue. Anything from barbecues to bikes to fishing gear, rods, reels, anything you could think of, people have donated uh, to this worthy cause. I just think that, you know, we, you know, I can say this for everybody that's part of this is we really appreciate what you guys did. This is an amazing and event and I recommend anybody that would like to to get involved. You thank a veteran, try to get them out hunting or fishing with you. I promise you it'll be extremely rewarding. Thanks for joining us today on Horns and Hooks TV. We hope you enjoyed the show. And a